What's going on, everyone? Today, we are taking a look at a Microsoft Teams Rooms for Windows solution from Lenovo. It's kind of a big package. The Lenovo ThinkSmart Core Full Room Kit. As you can tell from the size of that box, we're gonna be unboxing all the components in there, doing a device overview of what all comes in the box and what the full room system is supposed to look like. We'll put it all together, and then in a follow-on video, we'll actually do a demo of using the Core Full Room Kit in a Microsoft Teams Rooms setting. Let's dig in. Okay, let's get to the unboxing. We've got two camera angles here. One down here, taking a look at the box. We want to get a good view of how it's all stacked in here. And then of course, this view right here so you can see what I'm pulling out. Let's check it out. Right up top, we've got the ThinkSmart controller. The ThinkSmart controller will be our center of table touch display that we'll use for controlling our MTR. And right off to this side, we've got two Lenovo ThinkSmart Bar XL satellite microphones as they are labeled. And uh, these will sit on the table as our mics. They are a part of the full room kit. There's a couple variations of the kit and uh, the first two variations don't come with the mics. So we do indeed have the full room kit here. Over on the opposite side, we got our power supply for one of the components. Cracking that open, we see power supply inside. Coming over to this piece right here, we've got some documentation. And then pulling the lid open on this, we've got mounting gear if we want to mount the, uh, the compute itself. And then right down here, protected in foam on both sides, we've got the compute itself. Got some more protective styrofoam on it. We'll get that off shortly. Down off to the side here, it looks like we've got another power supply. Right down here, got some protective foaming we'll remove. And then we've got the, and I believe this will be our ThinkSmart cam, that front of room 4K camera. And getting down to the bottom of the box, a little bit more foam. We've got one final component that takes up the length of the bottom of the box. And pulling that out, this is going to be our ThinkSmart bar. Well, taking a look around, we've got all the boxes out of the larger box. Now we need to unbox the smaller components and take a look at them individually. And our larger, longer box here is the ThinkSmart bar XL. Got a couple tabs off to the side. Top up here. And then we've got foam protection right here. Just a layer of it we can remove. Inside of that foam protection, we've got the documentation for the ThinkSmart Bar XL, USB cabling right up top, as well as some mounting hardware, screws, other components. A little bit more protective foam here, actually, and covering up. The Think Smart Bar XL itself, giving it a nice snug fit to protect it during transport. And as we tip the device, we see we've got mounting gear tucked in here. The mounting gear allows us to mount the Think Smart Bar XL on a display, uh, on a wall, or it can sit on a front of room surface. And then finally, we've got the Think Smart Bar XL. The Bar XL has four stereo speakers with a built-in DSP for noise and echo cancellation. Reaching audio at a distance of up to eight and a half meters with a 180 degree pickup range, the Bar XL has four built-in beamforming mics. At the front of the device, we've got our power over on the right, volume up and down in the center, a Bluetooth pairing button, and a mute button. At the back of the device, we have this indented area for all of our ports. We've got a mic in and aux out over on the left. And then on the right, we've got power to the left and our USB-C connection to the right. This optional kit intended for extra large rooms comes with the two additional satellite mics. Once we break the seal at the bottom, we can lift the lid on the box. And right inside, and it's protective plastic, we've got one of two satellite mics. 
we can see we've got a uh, mute button right at the very top there, easy access. We've got the Lenovo red branding going on down here, and then some cable management built in so that we can plug in right down here. We've got our mic out and mic in buttons. Looking down inside of the plastic uh, packaging, we've got that audio cable right here. And we've got two power supplies that come with the entire kit. We've got the power supply brick itself. This end goes into the device for our power. And of course, we've got the cable going into the wall outlet right here. As this is a Microsoft Teams Rooms on Windows solution, we've got the Lenovo ThinkSmart Core device right here running our Windows 10 IoT operating system preloaded with the Microsoft Teams Rooms app. At the bottom of the device, we've got that Lenovo red branded color down here and spots for our mounting gear so that if we need to mount this to the underside of a table or a wall, we've got mounting options, as well as these four rubber grips that will allow us to just set it on a surface and keep it from sliding around. Taking a look at the side of the device here, you can see that we've got our power button right there as well as a Kensington lock slot to keep the device from walking away. Sliding it around to the rear, we've got our cable management. Now with this part unscrewed, this top part simply lifts up, and then we can see where all of our cables will go into these slots here so that they are held firmly in place. Taking a look at our cables beyond the cable management mechanism here, we've got the ports for Think Smart Controller, USB-C connection. If we're gonna have a dual display, we've got two HDMI ports, one here and one right here. Of course, you can go with a single display if you need to. You've got USB-A here, here, and here. A USB-C port there as well. Ethernet port right there. And then of course, our power slot right there for the power supply. And for the center of room touch controller, we've got the Think Smart Controller. The top of this box simply lifts off. And then inside, you can see we've got plenty of styrofoam cut out to securely hold all the components in place for shipping. We've got our USB-C cable that will connect the device, the, the ThinkSmart controller, to the compute device that we looked at a moment ago. Lifting this protective styrofoam out, we can see that that cable is actually already pre-connected to the controller itself. Remove the additional protective foam from around the front of the display. And we got that cable coming right into the back of the ThinkSmart controller. Remove our protective foam from around it. And of course, we got this thin material here protecting the display. The display itself is a 10.1 inch touchscreen engineered with anti-glare and anti-smudge features. Looking at the back support here, this is where our cables come into the device. There is a screw in place here keeping this security panel on, but beyond that we've got the USB-C connected to the device going back to our compute. We've got a security slot right down here for a Kensington lock, for example. And then of course a mic headphone combo port right there as well. And then finally to round out the core full room kit, we've got the ThinkSmart Cam. Now I did cover this in a separate video. I'll put the link to that in the upper corner so you can take a look at the specs and overview of the camera itself. As we prop the top of the box open, we've got the ThinkSmart Cam itself. I'll take its protective styrofoam off. And there is our camera, protective plastic film out the front. We'll get that off. And then we've got the ThinkSmart cam there. It can be adjusted on its angles. And of course, if we want to put it on a display, it can rest on the display using the rubber grips back here and on the front lip. On the underside, we've got the traditional mount port right there if we want to put it on a tripod. And then at the back, we've got our USB-C connection, bringing it into the rest of the system. As the ThinkSmart Cam can be wall-mounted or display-mounted, there are several different mounting components in all their wrap here. I'm just going to leave them there for the, purpose of the uh, purposes of this video because we're not going to be mounting it in that way. 
But looking at the bottom, we've got our USB-A to USB-C cable for connectivity, our documentation, mounting hardware, and mounting hardware. And with the entire kit fully unboxed, unwrapped, unpackaged, we have all the components laid out. It's time to get this all wired up and ready for use. Okay, let's start putting everything together by taking our ThinkSmart Cam, USB-C port at the back, and our USB-C to USB-A cable that it came with. We plug that in, and then that USB-A cable is gonna go back to our core compute device. Next up, let's wire our satellite mics, the optional satellite mics, to the uh, soundbar itself. Uh, we're actually gonna have these fairly close in our setup just because we don't have a big extra large conference room. But we'll take a look at the wiring nonetheless. Now, on the back of our mics, we've got mic in and mic out. The mic out is gonna go back to the soundbar XL. The mic in will be used if this mic pod is sitting between the, satellite, the bar XL and another satellite mic. If the, so, right now we're gonna have this be our in-between mic. We will connect our mic out to that port. We'll use our cable management to wrap this cable right out to the side. And then this component, this end, is going to go into our mic in over to the left right here. We plug that in. With that in place, we need to take the far satellite mic and connect it to the in-between satellite mic. So we take our audio cable here, and on this far end one, we only need a mic out. There's no other mics coming into this one. So we connect our mic out. And whereas our last one connected into the bar XL, this, once we route out our cable here, will be daisy chained over to the other mic that we had already set up. So we've got our mic out there. This is the other satellite mic coming in, audio in to this middle, middle mic. So conceptually, we see that we've got the bar XL sitting at the front of the room. In our case, we're not wall mounting it, we're just setting it on the surface or display mounting it. We have the mic pod over here that is going to the mic in at the back of the device. And then daisy chained from that mic, we have the far satellite mic. Now, before we get our bar all the way flipped around, we have to connect more than just the audio in. We need to take that included USB-C cable uh, it's a USB-C to USB-A cable, so the other end is USB-A. And we connect that into the right side slot behind, at the uh, back of the device. And we take one of the included power supplies and plug that in right on the inside here. Now we've got power, USB-C to USB-A going back to our compute and our optional satellite mics coming in right here. And finally, we need to connect up our touch controller with the compute device, as well as all the other cables that uh, we have from our soundbar, from our ThinkSmart cam, etc. So let's go ahead and lift the top on this, and we'll start by connecting our power supply. So, power right here, power will go in, this port and then we will just neatly tuck that cable where it goes right there and we've got a dual HDMI setup so we will take our two HDMI cables and we will plug them into the two HDMI ports for HDMI out HDMI in I forgot to call out is over on the far right we're not going to be demoing or working with that on this setup so we're not going to worry about having those present Next up, we need internet, so we will connect our ethernet cable to the ethernet slot right there. Then we want to connect our USB-C coming from the touch controller itself. Now this, you can tell, is the USB-C coming from it because of this little white edge right here. And it's going to go into the little field here where we actually see the touch controller logo. And last, but certainly not least, we need our USB-A coming from 
the ThinkSmart Cam. We'll plug that into a USB-A slot. So to recap, we've got touch controller coming in here, two HDMI ports coming in here, ThinkSmart Cam here, we've got the uh, Ethernet cable here, and power. Let's go ahead and shut this thing, getting all of our cables clear. We should see that everything sits nice and flush because they're all within their little spots. Cable management there. And we can screw that in place to make sure that it doesn't come open. With our cables all tucked behind and everything set up, we are now ready to plug in power. There we go, all cabled up, the full room set up. We've got a dual display, Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows set up, ThinkSmart Cam up top, Bar XL on a surface at the front of the room. Again, both of those come with mounting hardware so that you can mount to the displays or to the wall. We took the easy route. The optional satellite mics installed. The compute device with all cables plugged in and ready to go. We did not use the mounting hardware for that, but you can mount that if needed. And then our center of room touch controller. Let's go ahead and touch the power button on the side of our device here. As you can see, we've got the device powered on. It's getting us started with some of our initial settings before it launches us into the Teams Rooms app. One thing I did not do on the compute itself, you'll wanna plug in a keyboard and mouse to the USB slots at the back so that you can, at least temporarily, so that you can walk through some of this stuff and then get signed into the Teams Rooms app. You can keep that stuff present if you want to after the fact, or you can remove the keyboard and mouse, but that'll be necessary for your initial setup. Other thing I wanted to point out, turning on the device is as simple as just the push of a button. Turning on the bar XL, you need to actually hold the power button down for a few seconds. Power on, USB enabled. And once it comes on, you can hear that it's powered on and that USB is enabled. I hope this video gave you everything you need for unboxing and setting up your Lenovo ThinkSmart Core full room kit. Check out the next device. We'll have linked in the upper corner as soon as it's available so that you understand how to actually get the Microsoft Teams Rooms app ready to go and start using the device as a Microsoft Teams room. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe below and turn on notifications. Please share it all over social media if you found it helpful. And I hope we'll see you back here for the next device overview video.